Dio, brother. What's up? Horrible, 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 horrible performance. That's all I can say. As in, first and foremost, for me, it's like, you have to rotate. I, this is the tail end of season. We have to rotate. I get that Ateta has to rotate players. But when I saw Havertz in midfield that, in the lineup, I was like, this, why? I was like, why? The first thing that came to my mind was, I was like, why? I was like, he's been doing well up front, causing havoc. Leave him there. If you want to rotate in the midfield, rotate somebody else, right? Like, I mean, like, can like, I? Can this, I just, this was the, my. The thing is, though, Dayo. The, the thing is, right? Is yeah, in that first half. In that first half, Havertz got in three times on that left half space. I agree, but, but all I'm saying, no, 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 no. What I'm no, saying, no, 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 no. hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. You're missing my point. No, I'm no. just saying, I'm just saying, we had a format that worked for us all through from January, right? Stick within that format, right? And if you're just going to swap players, swap players man for man, like for like in those positions. For example, if you wanted to take out Jorginho, put in Thomas Partey, right? That's uh, just someone to like put in Partey. Leave as soon as I saw that, I was like, Yeah, I was like, Well, but it's Villa, Villa have some injuries, we're at home. There's other reasons why we might be able to just get this over the you know, over the line. After the first half, and it was zero zero, the way we started the first 10 minutes of the second half, I knew was I was expecting, I was, I was expecting a tie. At this, at this point, I was expecting a tie, but they, they played horribly in the second half. I'm more angry that they did not play out of their skin and lose than anything else. That, that's what's pissing me off the most. The fact that they didn't give 110%. Like, if you gave 110% and you lost that way, I'll be like, you know what? At least you went out swinging. You know what I'm saying? Like, you went out swinging. It seemed like at a certain point, they just downed their tools. You could, you could tell. They were lethargic in their movement. They were slow in their build-up. Passing became slower. I was like, what is going on with you guys? If you're going to lose, go out fighting. And like, I, I, I want you to be bloodied. And you sh and everybody's like, okay, you know what? You, 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 want, well. you, want, to, you want to go don't, out... Don't you think you're going to have ideas, though? Wanna, you want to go out like Justin nah. Gaethje. That's what you're going to do. You want to go out like you Justin yeah, Gaethje. You, yeah, you want to go out... Sorry, that Don, you... Don, answer that, que ask that question again, please. I said, don't you think they run out of ideas in the second half? You, no. you, weren't, you, weren't, you weren't creating no, as, much, as no, much in the second no, half as no, no, was in the no, first half. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking yeah. a genuine question. I'm asking no, no, a genuine question. Yeah, let, no. let, me, let, me no. let me answer him. Let me answer him. Don, yeah, yeah, that's semantics. Running out of ideas, not playing 110% is the exact same thing. Go out there and figure it out is what I'm saying. I don't okay. care what ideas you've run out of. Then tackle. Don't let the ball in. If you've run out of ideas in creating and how to score, defend enough not to allow them score. If, if you, right. I, I, That's what I'm saying. So my thing is on every level, if you've run out of ideas on how to break them down to put the ball in their net, then don't run out of ideas on how to defend your own goal. That's all I'm asking for. Give me 110% when you're on the pitch so that at least I can point out and say, you know what, you played very well. I'm more disappointed in their performance than the loss because I knew that we were going to drop points at some time this season. There was going to be a period where everybody's going to drop points. But how you drop the points is what I don't like. Like, if you're going to drop points, please drop points. Let me let me be able to say, you know what, you played very well. You were unlucky. They hit you on the counter. They, you know, whatever it was, and he scored. But you know what? Kudos to Aston Villa. I'm not going to come and sit down here and say, oh, Villa yeah, were lucky. Villa, Villa, Villa were not. Villa were not lucky. Villa played a mid and a low block, and Villa held us down. And when they had the opportunities, guess what they did? They threw the ball over. And because we played a high line again, that's why Emil Smith was the last man, because we played a high line. And we always play a high line. And when you realize it's not working, then why didn't we drop into a low block that we know how to play and draw them in and then use a counter against them? So my thing is they didn't give 110%. Arteta did not set the team up the way I feel that the team would have. Why, why is Jorginho out of the starting 11? And why is Martinelli not starting? Because Martinelli still needs minutes. So Martinelli should start. And Trossard is a better impact sub than anything else. We've seen Trossard this season come in and do the business when he's, at, when he's a sub. Every game the trust that started this season, he hasn't been super effective. So why take that risk mm. with a team like Aston Villa that has people like Ollie Watkins and Leon Bailey who can counter you like real full speed? And then for me, it's just, yeah, like I was just like, you set this team up to fail. Tommy Asu was on the bench. Why wasn't he starting left back? Why wasn't he starting left back? Like, what are we doing here, Ateta? Like, I'm, I understand you have to rotate the squad because you have game, an another game in two days. But you have to be able to rotate the squad in a way whereby it's man for man. If you're taking Jorginho, I'll put party in that midfield. Leave Odegaard there and, and, uh, and, and Declan Rice. And then let Harvard still play up front. Jesus can go and play left. 
can play left wing. Thank you, thank you. And then and then bring Trossard and then bring Trossard mm -hmm. in as an impact sub that he has Simple. always done throughout the season. Just Simple. follow the same formula you followed, and if you don't get anything in the first half, <coughs> then you can then start to jig things around. You See, know? I, I I just want, I just want to oh, come yeah. in, Dio. Uh, listen, everything that you're saying, bro, I agree with it because I would pretty much have the same take if I'm seeing Chelsea play the same way, yeah. But again, this goes back to the point that I speak about with certain players and why I don't put them on certain platforms. You know, when I come on here and I say certain man go missing over 90 minutes, they don't get involved in the game too much for me. Everyone starts to cry on here. You know, I'm tired of the gaslighting. So let me come on in, right? After another performance where Saka was a ghost majority of the game. Yeah, in the first half, the whole the whole team was dying. Let me interrupt you, guys. Please let Don finish, and please let Don finish, please. I didn't interrupt you, okay? I didn't interrupt you. You might have known me long enough to know, yeah, that I can criticize my my own players and I big up my players when I can. And same thing with Saka. When Saka has a good game, I will come on here on the top six. I will big him up. But like I've said multiple times, this guy doesn't do enough over ninety minutes for me. Yeah, today. Two take-on attempts, zero completed against Lucas Dinya. I'm sorry, you should be doing more than that, yeah? Because this is a guy that you've given the new contract. This is a guy that you, you, you scream about. This is a guy a lot of your fan base say is world-class. So I'm sorry, in games like today, I expect him to rise. Again, he didn't rise, you know? I'm looking at your team. The only person that really impressed me today, I'll probably say is Odegaard. Again, you know, he's been performing at a world-class level. He's the only one that I'm looking at today and saying, yo, he can walk away knowing that he did his job. In the first half, you lot created enough chances to win the game. But like you said, Dio, it wasn't sustained in the second half, you know? But again, I'm looking at individual players to rise. And once again, it didn't do it, bro. You know? So I'm, I'm tired of this gaslighting because when I speak about him, you don't think I hate him. You don't think I don't think he's a good player. It's not that. This is why I don't put him on the platform that you lot again, put him on. Because he has, he has wait, hold, hold on, Tevin. He has one too many games like this, bro. One too many games. And you look like to bury your head to the sand when he has performances like this because he's your star boy. Yeah? You can praise your players, but learn to criticise them, bro. And learn to accept constructive criticism. It's not hate. Yeah? It's just facts, bro. It's facts. Do you know what I'm saying? I get so many people in my mentions crying all the time. Any, anytime I say anything about Saka, I spoke about his performance against Bayern Munich. I said, I need to see more of those performances um, consistently for me to, to say, OK, this is the guy that I rate at, at, at a higher level. But I see these performances once too often, bro. Once too often. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let me jump in. All right, let, let, let me jump in. Dan, I understand you trying to criticise Bukaya Saka more than the average person. Like There are other players that probably would warrant more criticism than Saka. But you have your agendas. Today, if we had a better person in the position, if Kai Havertz was back post on that first cross that Bukai Saka put in, we'll go one ill. Because my biggest issue with the performance today is the setup. You take Havertz away from the striking position and you put him in the midfield. Remember, the last time we, we questioned the performances of Arsenal and the, the decisions of Arteta, was the fact that he was trying to force Havertz in the midfield. We went away from that. So we said, okay, cool. We play Havertz up top. All of a sudden in this match, we decide to play Havertz in the midfield, play Trussard on the wing, and then play Zinchenko. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Tevin, on... what's, what's, what's Havertz got to do with Saka's performance? Because he don't even play on the same side as Saka. Are you going to, you're going to, let me finish? You're going to let me finish? I, I don't right. understand your point that you're trying to make. Though. Well, I'm, I'm, so, 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 on my bridging, just wait, just wait. I'll carry on, carry there on. Couple, there, are couple, there are a couple of times Saka went down the byline like, by and put the cross, put a cross in the box and nobody was there. Why? Because Zinch, um, because Gabriel Jesus is our striker that is never in a position to finish the ball in the box. He's always loafing around somewhere. A couple of times in the in our recent games, Kai Havertz scores goals from the deep runs into the box and finishing from across coming um from a cutback. Saka did that three times in the first half and nobody was there. Saka did a back post cross where Gabriel Jesus had a free header and missed it. If Kai Havertz was there, and I can't believe I'm defending this guy as a finisher because he's not a great finisher, but we've seen over the stretch that if he gets those chances in front of goal, he will bury it. No, you tell me from a performance that Saka put in in the first half where he could have had two assists and we could be 2 nil up. We're not talking about this performance of Saka. Odegaard was the only person in the second half that could hold on to, ball and re hold on to the ball and release the pressure. He took Odegaard, Odegaard off. There is no control after that. You take Odegaard off, you bring in Smith Rowe, who's not a controller. That doesn't make any sense. Then you bring in Jorginho when we're chasing the game. They, none, none of his decisions made sense. 
But you to focus on Bukaya Saka, who didn't play bad, by the way, in the first half. And he, everybody he played bad in the second. Against he, he, he 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 not a game's not forty five minutes, bro. But again, but again, but again, but again, you're refusing to use context when you're looking at the overall performance and you're just looking at the end result, which doesn't make sense when you're analyzing what a performance over the 90 minutes is. And over you do 90 this, minutes, he didn't do this kind you do this kind you do this kind Let me reply back to your point. Let me reply back to your point then. Let me reply let to your finish first. Let, let me finish first. Let me finish. Let me finish first. Let me finish. Let me finish. Can about I finish? You. Can I finish? Talk, talk, can, can I finish? Talk, talk, bro. You do this. You do this consistently with Bukaya Saka. And when anybody will, challenges you, when anybody challenges you about Enzo Fernandez or any of your players, you defend better than a twenty-year-old liar in in in, uh, in let's in defend. Let's defend. So, so, no, 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 no. I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm just. I'm, let's do that. I am just. Let's do that. I am just. Let's do that. All right, cool. All right, keep, all right, keep talking. Keep talking. Because the first talking. thing that I said, the first keep thing talking. that I said, yeah, is Bukayo Saka doesn't do enough over ninety minutes. You're telling me about a forty-five-minute performance? Is a game forty-five minutes, bro? All right, the minutes, whole bro. team did not do enough no, in the second no. half. The whole team, listen, you, this is what I don't. This is what I don't understand, Don. You come here and you want to. You put him on a platform. No, no, no. Is my hey, 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 my point. Point. That's my point. Nobody, listen. Can you stop for a second? You look. Nobody's put anybody on the platform in today's game. But we Your said, base, about, listen. Hey, 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 hey. He hey, doesn't let people you, finish you, talking. He just can't. can't. Yeah, he can't. You need to learn to calm down. Relax. You understand. Bloody no, I'm of you look. Hey, no, 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 no. Can you, can you be it, quiet? We didn't come and talk about Saka. We came to talk about the game and how badly Arsenal played. Thank you very much. So if you want to pick on Saka and you have your agenda, go start, players, live, you know? go start the stream somewhere and start talking about Saka. But here to talk about the game and how badly we played. And he played today, did you know? The game, the what can I talk about it? Can you, can you, you know what? It's, it's, it's hard having a conversation. All right, let him go. Yeah, let him go. Let him go. So, yeah, when he can yeah, find that we can, we can yeah, go back to the game. We can go back to the game after. Let him go. Let him go. It is hard. It is hard having a conversation. It is hard having a conversation. It is hard having a conversation. Don't come on the internet and silence me. Nobody's trying to speak about. Nobody's trying to silence me. If I want to talk about Saka, because you don't want to talk about Let him go. I'm just going to jump in for a minute. Can I just jump in for a moment, please? Yep, absolutely fair to bring up Saka. No issues with it. Can we try not to keep cutting in and jumping into each other's conversation? The main reason being, the viewers then can't hear what anyone's saying. Do you know what I'm saying? Me? And it might be a good reply, but the viewers can't hear it. So it doesn't sound great. So, Daryl, make your point and then we'll so my, sort of move on from there. My, my point is simple. The whole team played poorly in the second half. So to, think, to pick out one person because they put him on the pedestal in other games doesn't make any sense to me. We're talking about this game and... If we want, if we want to use this game as the one yardstick to say Arsenal has capitulated, they are a horrible team. Go ahead and do that. You want to forget all the good results and all the other times that Saka did well, right? All of a sudden, that's out the window. My thing is this: nobody stepped up in the second half, and in the second half, it was clear. You saw that Aston Villa pocketed uh, Martin Odegaard, which is why we brought him out. He was pocketed, literally. He wasn't effective in the second half. Saka was not effective in the second half. Neither was any one of the players. Our defense was not effective. Gabriel had a couple of crazy moments that he should never have had. Zini was out of possession. Now, I hate the fact that people try to also pick on one particular player and blame him. For example, Zinchenko. Arteta puts him in there and asks him to invert. Zini does not invert on his own. If Arteta stays, stay back in the left wing and defend and don't go anywhere, I'm sure he will do it. But he inverts because that's what the coach, the manager has asked him to do. So when we have that whole pocket open there and they take a chance and they use it, I'm not blaming that player for the setup. I'm blaming the manager for setting us up that way. It's that simple. So my thing is this. To then come and say, oh, Saka didn't step up. Arsenal as a team, we know. We, we, we put him on the pedestal because the way our team is set up, it's multiple people scoring, multiple people who are good. But we don't have, we're not a team that has standout players like Phil Foden that can take a, a game by the scruff of his neck. We don't yeah, have those I, players. I, 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 I understand. Don, that's 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 Don, 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 can I ask you a question based on what Dyer just said? His view is that Saka faded in the second half because the way the manager set the team up. You regularly defend players like Enzo because of how your manager sets up. So do you not agree? Like do you not do you not agree with his take? No, no, based no. on the same logic my, you my, use. My, my point. No, no. Hold on, hold on. You're, you're confused. You're trying to confuse things now because my point with Saka. No, I'm not. Is, yeah, you are because what my point with Saka is. I've seen Saka get involved in games. Yeah, where he's taking the game by the scruff of the neck and he's everything's going through him. I've seen it happen. That's why I'm harsh on him, because I know he's got the ability to do it, yeah. right? Today is a sort of game where he needed to get the game by the scrap of the net and drag his team through the mud. 
right? Because he's one of the, be the best players in the team yeah. right now. One of the best players in world football I hear all the time. The best right winger in football, you know. Sometimes they even say he's better than Salah. You know, they say he's world-class and all of these things. So what I'm saying is, these are the expectations that I expect from a Bukayo Saka. Because I rate Saka. And I so want to do more often, so, Don, right? I, so, Don, I think your opinion there is absolutely fair. M my point is, when people say that, this is why Tevin challenged you. And it's not a deflection. It's understanding your logic. Because when people say that about Enzo, who's a 23-year-old, 200-game player, who costs 106 minutes, you will speak about... Centre back, the, the his, his midfield partners are too far away from him. Other players are being played out of position, and it hinders his game. Dio is just saying that he understands Saka had to do more, but he believes because of the mistakes the manager made, it made it even harder for Saka to shine because the team was all disjointed. So I'm just asking why you don't see that as the same. You, you're because, not, I've, because I've seen this. I've seen. I've seen these performances from Saka even when they've had their strongest eleven with Martinelli and Odegaard and all of these guys in midfield, even with Xhaka in the midfield. It's not the first time that I've seen Saka have, have these sort of performances. That's why you see me speaking about him a lot because they're, they're consistent, bro. You know, I'm not I'm not seeing things. Like I've said, people think I hate Saka. I think Saka's a good player. I've said multiple times, I think he can become world-class. But my, mm. my overarching point is they overrate him. Yeah, and today's another reason of... Of of the, of, of how they overrate no, him. Mate, I, I agree I with that element. I'm just, still, I'm just still confused by the point that Arsenal fans on the panel were saying we think it's because the team gets disjointed at times. You mm. use that exact same excuse to defend your players, but you're not willing for Arsenal fans to use that excuse for theirs. I don't understand that bit. Uh, what, what you, what, yeah, but what's what's the system got to do with Saka today? Because in the first half, what was he doing in the first half? Why, why can't he take... Why can't, as, as attacker, Didn't I just as, give you as, examples as, of what he was doing? As, 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 as an attacker, why can't he call for the ball? I understand your point around they overrate him and you, and you want to sort of bring it down a peg or two. I understand that. When we get down to... You use your system as a reason to defend players you like. Arsenal mm. fans are doing that about Saka, and you say, no, you can't do that. I'm, yeah, but I don't my, understand your changing my, my, logic, is what no, I'm asking. It's, it's, I'm, not, I'm not changing my logic, because I've already told you, Terry. Even Terry, with the strongest 11, well. I've seen Saka have these sort of performances. That's my point. Even with the strongest 11, I've seen them have... They, they're trying to say, oh, Tevin, it, it sounds like to me, they're saying Saka only performed like that because of the system, yeah, which I disagree no. with. Because I've seen Saka have these level of performances when your system has been fine, yeah, and your strongest eleven has been what you picked out. Is my point, Terry? Yeah, and so, I was talking to Terry about this because I've got to go in a sec. Yeah, I was talking to Terry about this before. Towards the end of the season, I, I bet I've, I've not seen this guy rise, bro. Yeah, when you lot had to go and get top four and Spurs went and did it, he didn't rise, bro. Last season, towards the end of the season, he didn't rise, bro. Towards the end of the season, now he's failing to rise again. You know what I'm saying? But when I say these things, you don't start to cry in mentions and cry in the chat. Anyway, I'm gone, man. I'm gone. Don, I'm Don, gone. Mate, Don, I appreciate you coming on, bro. Look, I have no <laughs> qualm with what Don's saying here. I think oh, the likes of Saka, you have to judge people based on how they perform in, in really difficult moments. The only element I'm challenging, challenging you on is when anyone mentions a player you like at your club, it's literally the system. That's my biggest issue. Every single time. That's all I'm asking is... The energy ain't the same in that regard. But Don, I appreciate you coming on, brother. And we'll see you on Top Six Show. Love, Tevin. Love, love, Cheers, love. Cheers, brother. Big up yourself, Majid. Big up, big up. Take care, my man.